Good evening, everybody. It is 5.45 on August 18, 2019. And you know what? I have upgraded my audio system now. I, well, the microphone system. I have purchased a preamplifier, a Golden Age Pre-73, and I could not be happier. This thing sounds pretty good to me. Cleaner sound than it was coming through my H6. But you don't care about that. You care about the title of this video. Today we are comparing the ZMF Aeolus versus the Sennheiser HD 700, and we're looking at the bass response between these two. Both of these headphones are open back, and both of them have very unique styling, and both of them have a very different sound signature from the other. The Aeolus is an incredibly smooth sounding headphone, if not the smoothest I've ever heard, certainly one of the smoothest I have ever heard. These things are amazing, silky smooth. And on the other hand, you have the HD 700 on the other side of the ring. What is the HD 700? As I said during the unboxing, the 700 is the 800's little brother. And the 800 had a terrible reputation for being really trebly and people had to mod their 800s to get the, the 800s to sound well somewhat normal sennheiser realized that it was a big problem that's why they put their manufacturing into retuning the driver and released the 800s now you know for a fact that if a company retunes a driver and then re-releases the headphone changes nothing else other than the driver or the tuning you know that there was a huge problem odyssey had to do it with their headphone early uh, versions of their headphone and Sennheiser clearly had to do it with the 800 but does the 700 have the same type of problem yes yes to a certain extent it does the HD 700 still can get really peaky but you know what the 700 has an incredible amount of air and width and personality that is distinct so we're gonna listen today for the bass response to find out if you're in the market between the Aeolus and the HD 700, how does the bass respond on these things? Let's get started. We are going to start with Mountains, as we always do on our test playlist. Mountains has layers and layers and layers of bass, but it's not bass heavy. So here's the thing. Mountains has the organ, and the organ has this great rumbly nature to it. And in the middle of the song, the song becomes just overwhelmingly complex but some headphones fall apart in the middle of this song because of that rumbly bass from the organ and and sometimes the organ just overpowers everything else on a pair of headphones what we need to find out is does the organ sound natural number one number two does the organ overpower any of the other instruments especially during the crescendo at the middle of the song and number three can we hear separation of bass instruments let's get started i have the aeolus on my head plugged into the ab switch which itself is plugged into my new amplifier which is the rupert neve headphone amplifier which is being fed because it doesn't have a dac implementation it's being fed by the JDS Labs L DAC. So let's go. I have the volume at about 11 o'clock on the Neve. I'm going to increase to about 12 o'clock. Boy, that bass is it's smooth as silk. It's not overpowering at all. In fact, I would say that the bass is rather subdued at this point. You can hear the rumbliness, but it's not particularly audible. Like, it's not in your face. It's just somewhere in the background. It could be, you know, in another building playing loudly, but you have the walls in the, mid in the middle, and then you have the gap between that building and this building, and then you have the other wall, and now you heard it. That's the type of rumbly that I'm hearing currently. Let's go to this to the middle of the song. And the crescendo is starting in about five seconds. I'm gonna increase the volume to one o'clock. Excellent bass control. It's not overwhelming by any stretch of the imagination. The rumbling continues from the organ, but 
it recedes, it fades away, it, dis it just decreases very naturally. I can hear the other instruments. When that rumble is present, but there seems to be a melding of the frequencies. So my overall impression right now is that it's incredibly, incredibly smooth. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because, you know, hey, it's smooth. But it's a bad thing because it starts melding the lower bass frequencies together. And that separation between bass instruments is not altogether prevalent. The organ isn't overpowering, which is a strange thing, right? I mean, if it's, if it's melding into something, is it overpowering? No, the organ is rather subdued as well. It's just that... The organ frequency and the other bass frequencies in this song and the instruments that come in, just a slight melding of the two, so you get a warmer signature. Now, as I said when we talked about the, uh, the sound test of the Aeolus, I said that these headphones are warmer, and that's part of the reason why we're getting this other, you know, melding frequencies, because it is a warmer headphone. It's closed off. Now let's test on the HD 700. Okay, I have the 700 on my head, and my goodness, there, the, 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 there could not be a bigger difference between the two. Whereas the Aeolus has a, a modicum, I mean, just like a real modicum of sound isolation, noise isolation, the HD700 has none. I might as well not be wearing headphones right now. They're light, bar barely any pressure on my head whatsoever, and on top of that, I can hear everything. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I have the volume at 11 o'clock. Here we go. Now there's this... This is an interesting micro detail. Here's, here's what's happening. Here's what is happening, not what's happening. Have you ever played a tape deck? You know, cassette recorders, tape deck? The, when you put in a tape into a tape player, there's this kind of... It's not a sizzling, it's a hissing, almost like a very silent hissing. It's a very uh, uh, analog type uh, thing, right? It's you, you hear this hissing that I didn't hear in the AOs, and you hear it immediately in this song. It's not a bad thing. I think it's recorded purposefully in this song, and it's just, it's just amazing detail. Uh, here we go. Keep going. I'm going to increase the volume to noon. So that there's that tick tock tick tock, very clean. The the rumbly bass is not particularly rumbly. I, I, I it was significantly more audible on the Aeolus, and if you recall, I just said the Aeolus's bass is rather subdued on this song. Well, imagine it's even more subdued and less audible on the 700. One thing I can say is that immediately you hear so much more width in this song. That claustrophobic experience you may have with the Aeolus is immediately uh, alleviated by wearing the 700. Let's skip to the middle where the crescendo is. I'm going to increase the volume to 1 o'clock. Oh my god, what separation of the instruments. The rumbly bass is not really all that rumbly. It's an effect, basically. More so a, a, a component. I'll tell you the difference in a minute. I could hear each individual instrument. The treble is getting a tiny bit harsh, not too bad. So much width and air. So here's what I'm going to say. The organ sounded warmer and probably a little bit more realistic on the Aeolus than it does on the 700. The, if you've ever heard an organ, like a real organ, you know it's got this very particular character. If you watch the movie Interstellar, then you heard that organ. It was throughout. The entire soundtrack basically was made with this organ. There's a documentary about the, the production by Hans Zimmer, and 
he talked about this organ and how it sounded and, and the documentaries had the organ playing many times. You heard it. And, and it's just an amazing, deep and and unique sound. The 700 kind of distills that considerably. Now, I said it's more of an effect than a component. Here's what I mean. An effect, in my mind, is just a gimmick. It's there. A component is something that is part and parcel and cannot be separated from the song. On the Aeolus, it was a component. That organ, the bass that it was producing, was absolutely prevalent in the song. And it, it was it was subdued, but it was audible, and it had its own character. The 700, on the other hand, takes that organ and then decreases its character, takes away from its volume, and now it's just something in the background. I know it's there because I've heard the song many, many times, and I know it's an organ. However, it's just an effect it's nothing that I would miss if I didn't know this song. If this is the first time I was listening to the song, I probably wouldn't even recognize the organ. That is the biggest difference for me. Let's go to the next song, Angel by Massive Attack. And Angel has a tremendous amount of manufactured bass layers and layers and layers, much more complex than mountains. Let's start. I have the HD 700. The volume is at 1 o'clock. Here we go. excellent separation of the bass so there's this low rumbly bass and then there's a drum i think it's a kick drum and then there's a cymbal the left ear cup incredible detail very very good separation of all the instruments and now there's a there's a deeper kick drum with that deep deep bass that's in the background excellent separation between the two and there's a smaller drum that just kind of resonates, comes in every once in a while. It just came in around 42 seconds. Every single drum, every single bass instrument has its own unique sound signature, and I can hear it. The the bass, the, the rumbly bass in the background... Again, it's it's there. It's just not emphasized. It's not interfering with anything. It's a great effect. Excellent separation of the vocals. Let's skip ahead a little bit to midway. And now we have drums and the vocalist. The drum is fast, highly detailed. Yeah, extremely well-controlled bass, tight, 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 tight bass, almost as if the almost as if the HD seven hundred takes that bass frequency and and just ratchets up and limits it. It's not loose. It's not reverberating. It's not uh, resonating. It just strike, move on, strike, move on. And the best part about it, I think, is just the separation. This pair of headphones is excellent at separating instruments. Let's switch to the Aeolus. Okay, I have the Aeolus on my head. Uh, the volume is still at one o'clock. Here we go. Yeah, that, that sub bass is significantly more powerful on the Aeolus. And on top of that, I'm getting a much more closed-off sensation. Definitely not as airy as the 700. See, that when that cymbal hit just now, on the 700, it was louder, better delineated, the good definition, and it reverberated a little bit longer than it did on the Aeolus. The kick drum... That the kick drum's frequency is melding a little bit with the sub bass frequency, that rumbly bass. It just sounds more like you're standing right next to the drum, and there's a, a, a bed sheet or a bed cover draped over the drum or your head. 
that's more like it there. It's a bed sheet draped over your head, and you're hearing some of this muffled drum. The vocal is very smooth. Let's skip to the middle. The 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 drum has this woody character to it. Here's what I mean. Woody character. It means to me that whereas the HD700 was much more clinical and it just sounded sharp, the sound that the Aeolus brings is woody. Like you're you're listening to wood being hit with a drumstick now okay so wait that may sound bad it's not bad i'm just trying to describe the the sonic differences and everybody is going to have a different way of describing it all i'm trying to say is that the hd 700 has a much cleaner much more i would say neutral but that's up for debate right now it's it's certainly a different sound signature than it is for the aeolus the aeolus with this closed off frequency or, or its nature takes the bass and one muffles it up a little bit because it's so closed off and second what it does is it melts some of the lower bass frequencies and then third it has this wood character and I, I can't really describe it beyond just saying it has sounds like hitting wood and it's not bad it's just very different from the character that I heard on the 700 as far as separation is concerned the 700 clearly wins with separation of the bass instruments the Aeolus melded it and oftentimes it melted it a little bit too much for my liking if i'm looking for separation however if you want something smooth and not peaky well then you have the aeolus the 700 will get peaky depending on uh, where you are in this song let's go to uh, let's go to drum solo by jack bruce and simon phillips i have the aeolus on my head it's still one o'clock on the amp here we go now, when the song starts, the audience is yelling and screaming. It, no ear piercingness on the Aeolus. It's, you know, the, the Aeolus has this kind of unique character to the drum. You hear it going left to right, and, and on occasion you can hear the drum just, the bottom of the drum falling out like boing, boing. That's a really nice detail that the Aeolus brings out. Let's skip ahead to when he's riffing. At one o'clock, very easy to listen to this song. No sharpness at all to the drum strikes. It, but it sounds like I have a like a bed comforter or something draped over my head as I'm standing next to the drum listening to this. It's muffled, not in a bad way, it just smooths out the frequency, but you're not getting that realistic, sharp drum strikes. Okay, so let's go to the 700. And now I want you to predict what, what could possibly happen, right? We know that the Aeolus has this muffled, kind of closed off character. It smooths everything out. We know now that the 700 has a wider soundstage and it's much more open and airy. How do you think the drums are gonna respond? The volume on the amp is still one o'clock. I'm gonna bet that the that the beginning of the song is gonna hurt my ears, but let's go for it. Hold on. I didn't even switch the A B switch. Here we go. Now here we go. Oof. That's a bit sharp. I'm going to increase the volume to 2 o'clock. Excellent soundstage, left and right. Automatically, you know, you can feel it's a wider soundstage. The bass is fast, really fast drum strikes. The, the bottom of the of the drum falling out, that sound signature, is also prevalent on the HD700, but the difference is it, it resolves much faster. It decays much faster than the Aeolus. The Aeolus lingers. That boing sound lingers a lot longer than it does on the 700. And when I say a lot longer, we're talking about, you know, a second, half a second sort of thing. 
But when you're doing A and B comparisons, that this is the type of stuff that, that stands out to me. Let's keep going. Those cymbal strikes are a little harsh for me. And now he's going to start riffing. Very fast drum hits. You can hear each individual drum head being hit. It doesn't sound muffled at all. Indeed, I would say that this is almost like being in the fourth or fifth row at a concert and hearing the drums without a bed sheet or a comforter over your head. Really, really good. The, I wouldn't say that the drum strikes are visceral. I don't think that they are visceral. I think that they are pretty good, well-controlled. They don't become ear piercing. The cymbals, they do tend to become a little bit ear piercing, but the drum strikes don't. Very fast resolving, incredibly clear, v a lot of air and, and soundstage. It's fantastic. If you're looking for something that has very good bass reproduction, fast and airy, and sounds unmuffled, not closed off, then the 700 is a very good contender for that. It, it also goes to explain why people wear the 700 for gaming. You know, if you're playing first-person shooters, you hear the bullets and the gunshots. The 700 or, or headphones like the 700 should be able to reproduce those gunshots, the bullets whizzing, all of that with extreme detail. Let's go to Kodo, and we're going to listen to Lion. I have the 700 on my head. Amp is at 2 o'clock. Here we go. Now, there's a bit of resonance in the ear cup with the big, big bass drum. Not a whole lot of reverberation, just a little bit. Now, here's the medium-sized drum. Very fast decay. And I can hear that there are multiple medium drums, not just one or two, just a lot. And I can hear each individual strike. Here's the other medium there is a bigger drum that just came in this is separate this is different from the big bass drum that came in at the beginning both have very different tonalities and now it's that big bass drum that came in at the beginning plus the medium drum and cymbals and i think i can also hear the smaller drum yep there it is all the drums are playing at this point around one minute i can hear all of them they're all very clear good separation okay so let's switch to the aeolus oops i'm sorry i just hit the microphone all right now we have the aeolus let's go still volume at two o'clock Closed off experience, but that should not be strange. That's something we're used to. That low bass rumble, it does not reverberate the headphones, the ear cups. The medium drum is, is playing now. It sounds a bit more muffled. The, the drum had, I think, a sharper impact on the 700. Now you have a faster resolving drum. This is the the faster drum, the smaller one. The tonalities are a little too close to each other, I think. Not as distinctly different as it was on the 700. Now you have all the drums playing at the same time. And I would say that the that the low bass drum and that medium drum, they sound too similar. I can't really hear the separation between the two. I can hear the smaller drum. I know that's a different tonality. Okay. So here's the deal. I, I don't think we need to keep going further and further into the space test. I can if you want me to. Just leave me 
a, uh, a message and I will, I will upload a different supplementary video. But here's the thing. I don't think you need to go into a whole lot of depth to realize that these two headphones are quite different and are going to produce bass rather differently. In my opinion, I think that the 700 has a more precise, more delineated, more separated sound signature, meaning you can hear each and every single instrument. And I also think that it's, it's probably less colored than the Aeolus. Part of the reason I, I'm saying probably is because the Aeolus is such a closed off experience that part of that muffling effect is just the fact that it's a closed off experience. I can't do anything about that. I think that the Aeolus's bass is a little bit elevated, a little bit um, pushed up. So you get that warmer frequency and the melding of the multiple bass instruments. And that was consistent throughout all the tests where we had more than one bass instrument. When we had just the drum and, and, you know, a drum set, like with Jack Bruce and Simon Phillips, what I heard was, you know, I heard all of the drum heads being hit, but it was almost like I had either a bed sheet or, or a comforter over my head, draped over my head as I listened to it. It just has that muffled character to it. Whereas with the 700, it was like I was third or fourth row away from the stage. Cleaner, clearer more precise, faster resolving. And there you go. That's how I would boil it down. The Aeolus continues to be smooth as silk and the 700 doesn't want to become smooth as silk. It, it just does. It produces the sharp resonances and the frequencies and the separation. And it all comes along with a great deal of airiness and soundstage. Next time, we are going to talk about the mids between these two headphones, the mids on the 700 and the mids on the Aeolus. Now the 700 has some phenomenal mids. The, the vocal range is well accentuated, meaning it's it's really, really good, in my opinion. I mean, that's a personal taste thing. But it's also a Sennheiser signature thing. They love accentuating that mid frequency, a little bit of a boost. Let's see how that works against the Aeolus's rather smooth and silky sound signature. Have a wonderful night. Take care of yourselves. Tomorrow is Monday, at least for me. And I hope that all of you can begin your work week in a pleasant way and end it in a pleasant way. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.